All right, boys and girls, it's day two of the Crappie Masters. We are currently in 47th place with an amazing weight of 1666, which is my personal best ever. Actually, three pound fishing's personal best. That's how good this lake is uh, fishing. It's just incredible, truly incredible. Records have been broke. Got an opportunity to sit here and talk to Blake Cook, which is awesome. He's leading the event with a record total of roughly around 22 pounds. So uh, let's put some fish in the boat. We're about to get started and uh, Hopefully we have a better start than we had yesterday because yesterday it was about you know, it was quite a long time before we got the first fish in the boat. So um, love learning Grenada Lake. So please subscribe. We're going to have some fun today and we're just going to go fishing. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Well, that's a much better start than yesterday already. Good night. First two pounder. Right there, first fish, that was within two minutes. Just stumbled across it. Hopefully we can get rid of it, actually. Kind of weird to say that. Yeah, only one seven eight. It's number one. It'll work. Makes me feel good about the day. I got one goal today. Three pounder. Don't get me wrong. I want to do good in the tournament, but I really want a three pounder. God, he has to be the small one. I don't care, I'll take it right now, I'm struggling. Hour and 20 minutes in. Hoisted in by the three pound fishing elite series. That <laughs> two pounder. Pretty risky, but being that we're in a tournament, but it's tough fishing today and I'm just a little frustrated with these fish, but maybe this sun coming out is gonna help us out. 187, number three. three and we're an hour and 40 minutes into the show all right let me tell you what's going on here we catch the first fish immediately and then all of a sudden we have this drought and that was frustrating i was getting very frustrated you don't understand the pressure you have to get seven fish until you actually experience it so hey we're going to sit back we're going to relax we are going to put some amazing fish in the boat during this episode and i can't wait to show you that but at the end of the day we grind it out and i talk about that at the end of this So folks, let me tell you, I was struggling and I had to put my nose to the 
to the ground and I had to go. I had to grind. I had to grind hard and I'll tell you what, it paid off. This is a 295. This is a 316. You're about to see that at the weigh-in to make it official. But I'll tell you, I worked hard and when you work that hard, you just say, hey, and it about the camera now. It's about making sure that you get the weight that you want to get. And I was pushing so hard to beat the previous day's weight um, that I just said, I got to forget about the camera stuff now. I got to really grind. And it was it was a ball. And I, I'll tell you what, I caught my last fish 10 minutes before lines out of the water. I landed a 297. And I'll tell you what, so just sticking it out, putting your nose to the ground and just going and going hard uh, really paid off. job of teaching you. If you go watch the videos, you're going to learn a lot and become a better angler. This guy is one of them. He represents Ozark Ross. Watching three pound fishing. Welcome Matt Laviano of Murray Spirison. Matt, how you doing today? Close to the same thing. 16, yeah, 16, 15. 16, 15, two day weight, 32, 81. All right. You bet you. Absolutely. It's always fun to waste fish. I don't know. 37. 37. 37. Yeah. Alright. Let's take those off the table for me, Matt. Sure. There's going to be a little shy of it. No, it was. 316, 316. Nice fish. Look at that for everybody to see real quick. There you go, folks. There's another Grenada three pound fish for you. We just keep on coming. Thank you. I want to thank anybody who talked about your videos real quick. Uh, I wanted to thank uh, Ozark Rods. Really do appreciate them. Fish with the uh, three pound fishing elite series rod. It's awesome. I wanted to spotlight uh, American Fish Tree Attractors. Um, I put up attractors every year. I got fuel them. Hands down, one of the best, without, not, without a doubt, probably the best uh, fish attractor out there. Wide arms, so you can check them out at AmericanFishTree.com. Thanks. Well, give me a hand, Matt Maviano. So let me t tell you what I took away from this, this uh, outing. I reached my goal of getting a three pound fish. I reached the goal of at least try practically matching what I did the day before. I grinded it out, folks. Let me just tell you, I did not get my seven fish until 11 o'clock, and I was I was struggling. But at the end of the day, I stuck with it. I, I just 110% and ended up getting, I think it was uh, 16 pounds and 0.15 or something like that, 1.6 or something like that. But I also got my three pounder. And um, I think if I were to take anything away from this day, I would say that I needed to move when I wasn't experiencing the bite that I needed. Because when I did move, I picked up a, another fish that was about a three pounder straight up um, and another good call out. So maybe moving, moving, moving was the answer rather than just sticking it out. And that's sometimes, that's what I'll do. If I know I'm seeing marks, I'm gonna stay there and, and I need to learn from that. But either way, I'm taking a big positive because I had two of the biggest uh, days of fishing I've, that three pound fishing has ever had. And we had a great time, pre-fish with Marcus, the tournament period was uh, a great experience. We ended up in 41st place, which is an improvement over the day before. So we did improve, which I think is a positive. And uh, folks, I'll see you at Kentucky Lake. And please subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.